Hi, Maria Savio, clinical and transpersonal hypnotherapist. Today I want to go over eight emotional adaptations created during childhood that may still be influencing us today and they may have a negative influence. So to begin with, the first one is attention. If as a child you didn't get enough attention, you may be the kind of person that seeks attention all the time. Number two is approval. If as a child you didn't feel that you were approved of, you might be the type of person that is constantly trying to win approval from others. Number three is if you didn't feel you were valued as a, as a child or you didn't feel that you were appreciated for who you were, you might be the type of person that is always trying to measure up and you might be competing with other people to show that you are better than them. Number four, if you felt that you weren't treated um, as someone special, you may be very demanding. You may be the type of person that feels entitled or acts as if they're entitled. Number five is if you felt no esteem, then you might be the type of person who's trying to impress others all the time and pressing them by, you know, having the best or acting as if you have the best or you are the smartest and things of that nature. If you didn't feel important, you might be the type of person that is a helper, someone who is always available, people pleaser. And if you're the type of person that when someone needs help, they call you, you're, you're the number one on the phone. Number uh, six, or actually number seven, if you weren't liked, then you might be super nice. You're the person that is nice and always nice. Somebody that doesn't say no. Someone who um, is, is basically sometimes even a doormat. Um, and... Number eight, if you didn't feel loved, you may be the type of person that is charming, that um, you're the person that is the most interesting person in the room. You're the charming person at a party. So these adaptations, you know, were used to help you survive as a child. However, as an adult, you feel there's something missing. And even though you're using these adaptations and they worked in the past, they no longer work today as an adult because the other adults aren't interested in meeting those needs for you. It's not that they don't love you. It's that they can't meet those needs. They can't all of a sudden become your parent. They are not going to have the same influence and because of that, they can't meet that need. At this point, as an adult, those needs have to be met by you. And only you can reparent yourself. So instead of looking outside, as an adult, we have to look inside. We need to heal those childhood adaptations in order for us to move forward and not use them any longer. Because when we continue to use these adaptations, then we don't have uh, relationships that feel connected. And when we don't feel connected in a relationship, the other person doesn't feel connected in the relationship. The other person can't feel or try to fulfill what you need. And because of that, they don't feel connected to you and you don't feel connected to them. And this can happen at, uh, in a personal relationship and this can also happen in your work relationships where you're too demanding or you're entitled or you're too competitive or you have to be the center of attention or you're constantly seeking your boss's approval. I mean, 
many things and then you can imagine in many different ways that people continue to use these adaptations as adults but the truth is you have to look inside you are not going to have that satisfaction or that need met by someone else the work is to go inside do the reflection and heal that need so it no longer runs your life I hope you have a great day. If you have any questions, please email me or send me a message. I am available. Thank you and have a great day.